Hi, this video is about the geometrical parameters of a sash type profile. What we have here is a drawing of our test sash and over here we have a generic drawing of a sash with a raw workshop. Okay, so let's begin with the first parameter which is H3. Uh, H3 is this little part over here that uh, is called the internal mask. It's the part of the profile that opposes the um, glazing bit with, which will be placed over here. And uh, this piece is practically on the outside of the window. Going to our test sash, we can see that the measurements for H3 is 20 millimeters over here. Okay, H2, this part, is the chamber of the profile. It's the most important parameter that you can find over here. It influences the um, quotations of the glass and the glazing bead. Um, as you can see over here on our test sash, um, we haven't it we haven't measured it yet, but uh, it's about 37 millimeters. If you have a drawing of one to one scale, you can uh, measure it on that and input it correctly. So we put 37 over here. Okay, H1 is the external mask of the profile. Um, it's the part that will overlap the frame as you can see over here and it's the sum of the overlap which is this part and the sash tolerance which is the distance between the chamber of the sash and the chamber of the profile so the sash tolerance is from here to here okay we've measured H1 which will be 57 minus the chamber of the profile, 37, and we get 20. We put 20 over here. H is the total height of the profile. You can either input it manually or just click on the plus sign and the program will compute it automatically, adding H1, 2, and 3. Uh, W1. W1 is the practical width of the profile. This is the place where the glass, the glazing bead and the gaskets will be placed. If you entered it correctly, the program will know what glazing bead to uh, choose uh, depending on the width of the glass and the place left for gaskets. So we have here uh, 55 millimeters for W1 over here and W is the total uh, width of the profile as you can see over here it's 70 millimeters okay so this is all you need to know about how to enter a sash type profile